Hello everyone, my name is Marin Andre and today I'm going to teach you how to correctly adjust your driving position. I'm a racing driver and former defensive and racing instructor and I've taught this technique to hundreds of drivers that are now safe on the roads. So let's start by adjusting our distance between ourselves and the dashboard, ourselves and the pedals and ourselves to the steering wheel. Adjust your seat in a way that with your right foot pressed with maximum force on the braking pedal, there's a bit of an angle behind your knee, so that way you'll have maximum force to push the brake pedal in case of an emergency. So that's the basic point of how to correctly adjust your driving position. Then you can start adjusting your steering wheel, making sure that the backrest is at almost 90 degrees. That way you'll have maximum force when you need to press the brake pedal and also when you want to turn the steering wheel. It's very important that with the backrest adjusted correctly, your back should never leave it when you turn the wheel, for instance. And also, if the backrest is very inclined and you try to press hard on the braking pedal, you will lift yourself from the seat, which is not correct. So, the backrest at almost 90 degrees. And if the backrest is adjusted correctly, then your headrest will be also correct. So, in case someone bumps you from behind, your head will be safe your neck also because yeah that's how many injuries occur because the headrest is not adjusted correctly and you can get paralyzed in this kind of accidents with the seat adjusted correctly you can start adjusting the steering wheel you'll have to remember a few reference points first of all put your um, wrist on at 12 o'clock on the steering wheel and make sure that there's an arch in your arm also with your hands positioned at 9 and 3 o'clock your hand will be at the same level with your shoulders that way you'll have maximum force when you want to turn remember this your left or right hand wrist position at 12 o'clock arch on your arm and at 9 and 3 o'clock your hand will be at the same level with your shoulders another useful tip after you put your seat belt, pull it up a bit. So in case of an accident, when it's armed, you're still at a safe distance from the airbag. Otherwise, if you let it loose, like you just connected it, and I arm it, I get myself closer to the airbag and the airbag can be fatal. That's how powerful it is. So make sure you pull it upwards a bit. Now let's talk about how to use our hands on the steering wheel. Your hands should always stay at 9 and 3 o'clock. And for 95% of the cases, there's no need for um, a bigger input than this one, especially if you drive on highway. But what happens when a left or a right band is coming up and it's very tight? So this is the technique that I prefer. Let's say a left uh, band is coming up. I put my left hand at 12 o'clock and I start to pull the steering wheel with my right hand free in the air. When the hands are again at 9 and 3 o'clock, I grab with my right hand and then, then I can turn more and then, then I can counter steer in case of an oversteer or um, there's a car coming up too close on my lane or there's a, a cyclist or pedestrian, doesn't matter. I can use more input if it's needed. Same technique available for uh, right bands. So my right uh, hand goes at 12 o'clock, the left hand it's free. And then again at nine and three o'clock, I grab again the steering wheel and then I can turn again and then I can counter turn. There's also another technique that you can use. Let's say that the left uh, band is coming up, that's very tight, so I can push the steering wheel with my right hand and I can cross my arms and grab again with the left uh, hand. And then again, my hands are at nine and three o'clock and I'm at maximum lock with just one move. Now I, I'm at the center of the steering rack and yeah, so I can, easily drive fast like this if it's needed i can counter steer i can uh, control an oversteer that accidentally occurred and so on but of course in case of emergency situation i prefer this technique um, you can watch videos of elk tests and so on so let's say there's an obstacle coming up i'm driving at 100 kilometers per hour and i need to leave my uh, lane in order to avoid that obstacle and come back on the lane because uh, I might be on the wrong side of the road. So what to do? Just turn really fast and come back with my arms almost crossing. So that's safe to do that, but only for obstacle 
avoidance. Otherwise, if I have an impact at this speed, the airbag can push my arms uh, against myself and I can break my arms, break my jaw, break my face and so on. It's very important, never steer like this and like this, that's not okay. And also never drive like this because in case of an accident and the airbag deploys, I'll put a, a nice Apple watch on my forehead and that's a no-no. Remember this, the backrest at almost 90 degrees with my right foot pressed with maximum force on the brake pedal, there's a bit of an angle behind the knee. Also for the steering wheel, my wrist at 12 o'clock, there's a bit of an arch in my arm and the hands should always stay at 9 and 3 o'clock. I hope these tips are useful for yourself. Uh, they were for me and uh, luckily I've avoided a few accidents with these techniques and I hope you'll never need to use this but remember drive safe stay safe and I hope you like my video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so we're practicing hard to get our English better and I hope you can get past our accents because they are fun and see you on the next video oh, don't forget to click on these videos here see you